welcome back viewers. Today we will be testing the Mavalum W indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Mavalum W indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 261 indicators. And out of those 261 indicators, 103 of them have been winners which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 103 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. Alright, so as I said, today we will be testing the Mavalum W indicator. I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. If I'm not, I apologize. But you can see it here on screen. It is relatively easy. Uh, a relatively simple single line indicator. Uh, the creator of the indicator said that it is, uh, I believe, smoothed uh, moving averages or weighted moving averages uh, that are based off of Fibonacci levels. So interesting, uh, interesting indicator to say the least. Uh, you can see here that it turns from red to blue and so on pretty simple setup as far as what we are looking for let's see let me change that red just a little bit there yeah why not bump it up there we go uh so you can see that it changes from red to blue and then back and so the setup on this is pretty easy when it uh, goes, when the line goes red, we'll be looking for short signals at that point. When it goes blue, we'll be looking for long signals at that point. And so, uh, like I said, yeah, pretty simple setup. That's exactly how we'll be testing it uh, today. So let's go ahead and get on with it, see what we can get out of it. All right. So we pick up the first, uh, first trade right there. That's going to be a short trade, and that uh, 
pretty quickly stops us out. Let me double check here. Did it actually stop us out? Boy, that is super close. Let me do that one more time. There to there, and it actually did not stop us out. Wow. That was within a couple pips, but it didn't quite make it to uh didn't quite make it to the 90 pips stop and it did turn around come back down and get us to a winning trade so not too bad of a start continue to play it forward here just a little bit then we pick up a long signal for here right about there and once again let me get that out of the way for just one second once again it uh, heads in the wrong direction direction right off and that one actually would have stopped us out before then reversing course and taking off in the direction we wanted it to go in the first place so a little frustrating when that happens but it is bound to happen nonetheless let's see here so we pick up another short right there you can see almost immediately boom, drops out on us getting us to take profit so that one worked out for us continue to play it forward here then we pick up a long trade over here on this side, right there. So we're doing all right at the moment. That one did get us to take profit as well. Let's see, we pick up a short right there on that one. And once again, that one got us to take profit rather easily. So we are still moving along nicely with this one now in this particular case gave us a long signal right about there and that is unfortunate because almost immediately starts to tumble down uh, from above there and definitely would have stopped us out you see that price action moved up quite a bit right there in that instance before it started to throw a long signal so that is definitely something to be mindful of especially when when we are testing indicators in general uh, being mindful of where they are giving us signals to enter into trades uh, is definitely definitely something you need to take mental note of you can see that on a few instances already it's uh you know, it's giving some really, really super delayed signals. This short signal right here, for example, it was almost at the bottom of this entire move before it eventually picked up the short. This one, it was at the top. Oh, well, I mean the exact top of that particular move before it finally gave us the signal to then, uh, to then go long. So those are not good places to be entering into trades now it does do all right in some cases right there you see that it you know told us to enter and it would have gotten us to take profit so play it forward a little bit more here and that does put us at the end of the year right there and so we are looking at one two three four five six and seven trades seven trades uh all together and we have one two three four five winning trades and so that does meet the 60 percent criteria in my opinion not too fond of this particular indicator again because of the reasons that i was just explaining looks like um you know it it gets you in at some really inconvenient times so it's not to say that it can't be used but you know it uh it definitely won so we will put it on the yes list we will tinker around with it at a later date but uh for now 
like I say, going on the yes list, and we'll move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. So that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing. Also, there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.